Welcome back to Football Daily, where today, in honour of Ramadan, we're listing 10 footballers who turn to religion. 10. Kaka Anyone who has even heard of Kaka has probably heard the Brazilian talk about God. Unlike many stars from his country, Kaka did not grow up in poverty, but in middle-class comfort until he was 18. At the time a trainee was Sao Paulo, Kaká was left bedridden with a broken neck after a swimming pool accident and thought he might be paralysed. The youngster prayed for a return to fitness and set out his goals, playing professionally, appearing in the World Cup and getting a move to Europe. He couldn't have dreamt of the success he would achieve. After recovering his strength, he began donating 10% of his earnings to Christian causes and when he eventually won the Ballon d'Or in 2007, he returned to Brazil to display the award at his church. Kaká even remained a virgin until he got married at the age of 23 and has claimed that he plans to become a pastor when he retires. No wonder every pair of boots he wears has the message, Jesus in first place. 9. Frederick Canute Malian forward Freddy Canute played for Lyon, Spurs and Sevilla, winning six trophies during his seven-year spell in Spain. At 20, he converted to Islam and despite warnings from club doctors, he continued to fast during Ramadan, explaining that his faith would keep him strong in the absence of food. Born in France, Canute had only visited Mali as a teenager and had been shocked by the poverty and inequality there. He set up a home for orphans near the capital Bamako, providing food and education for the children. And, close to the home, he paid 500,000 euros to keep a mosque in Sevilla open when it was struggling to pay the bills. Canute was always clear on his principles too. When Sevilla took on betting company 888.com as shirt sponsors, he refused to wear the kit, as Islam forbids gambling. Now retired, he uses his fame to promote his charity work. 8. Wayne Rooney While many footballers are open about their faith, Wayne Rooney's Christianity has long been kept quiet. The Man United footballer is no stranger to a cross, but in 2010, when he was asked about wearing a rosary in England training, his attempt to speak about his Catholicism led a team publicist to cut the interview short, saying, we don't do religion. Similarly, Rooney's Twitter account has been a battleground between a player keen to discuss an important part of his life and advisors who'd rather he kept it to himself. Rooney has tweeted at pastors and religious TV networks, but every time the comments have been deleted quickly. Nonetheless, Rooney's childhood on Merseyside clearly gave him a lasting belief in God, even if it still led back to football. I said my prayers most evenings, the forward said. Usually, though, I was praying for Everton to win on Saturday. 7. Emmanuel Adibayor The polar opposite of Wayne Rooney is Emmanuel Adibayor. The Togolese does nothing quietly and his conversion to Islam in 2015 was no exception as he posted a video online of his Shahada ceremony in which he proclaimed his new faith. Before that, Adibayor was a Christian, frequently talking about God on social media and even posting pictures of himself with priests. But in 2015, Adibayor was in a bad state, claiming on Facebook that he had been threatened with a knife by one brother, robbed by another and that he had often considered suicide. Things seem to have died down since, with Tottenham granting the player compassionate leave to seek professional help. The striker is now in Turkey, where he's hit 6 in 9 for his club. 6. Mehmet Shaul One of the most gifted playmakers of his generation, Mehmet Shaul was a brilliant dribbler and a creative talent. Educated at Karlsruhe, he spent 15 years with Bayern Munich, winning the Champions League and 8 Bundesliga titles with the Bavarians. Born in Germany to Turkish and German parents, Shaul earned 36 caps for the country and won the European Championship in 1996. Thanks to his father, he grew up with Islamic principles, but never fully committed to the religion, believing instead that there are multiple ways to be a good person. That led him to adopt the ideas of Buddhism instead, though he maintains he is not a real Buddhist, but simply finds that his practical advice and lack of strict rules help him live a better life. 5. Frank Ribéry Another Bayern player is up next and Frank Ribéry's adherence to Islam is well known. He grew up in a heavily North African neighbourhood and when he eventually married an Algerian woman, he converted officially, adopting the name Bilal Yusuf Mohammed. But Ribéry hasn't always kept to the standards his religion requires. In 2013, he went to court after it emerged that he slept with a 17-year-old prostitute. Ribéry admitted that he had slept with the girl but denied that he had known she was underage and somehow avoided jail time. 
and his faith has sometimes caused frictions with his teammates. After winning the Bundesliga in 2013, as part of Bayern's historic treble, Jerome Boateng chased Ribéry around the field before throwing a huge pitcher of beer over him. With alcohol forbidden in Islam, the winger was unsurprisingly pissed off. But the differences seem to have since been resolved, as the pair have gone on to win another four titles. 4. Vedran Chorluka Spurs and Man City defender Chorluka played for Croatia, the country his family took him to when he was six to escape the war in Bosnia. Raised Catholic, Chorluka won two titles with Dynamo Zagreb, as well as a pair of cups in Russia with Lokomotiv. Despite his jet-setting career, Chorluka never forgot where he came from. His father had returned to Derventa, the village of his birth after the war, to help rebuild, and Chorluka followed suit, pledging money and even returning himself to aid in the reconstruction of the town's Catholic church. And Chorluka's Christian generosity doesn't stop there. While at a London bar in 2011, a waiter complimented him on his watch, and the Croatian gave it to him, only asking for the waiter's one in return. The watch was a diamond-encrusted Hubbolt, valued at £36 thousand pounds. 3. Eric Abadal A winner of eight titles and two Champions Leagues, Eric Abadal's career has been glittering, but things have not always been easy off the field. The French international twice had surgery for a liver tumour, with close friend Danny Alves even offering to undergo a transplant to save Abadal's life. Fortunately, the defender had his wife Haya to rely on. Born in Algeria, Haya is a former gymnast and a Muslim and Eric converted from Catholicism to Islam when they married, taking the middle name Bilal. According to Abadal, he had already given up eating pork as a teenager, so he found the transition relatively straightforward, with support from Muslim Barcelona teammates at the time, Yaya Torre and Ibrahim Afalai. 2. Bruce Dyer The first British teenager to cost £1 million, Bruce Dyer signed for Crystal Palace at the age of 19, but only spent two years in the top flight and never won a cap for England. The striker featured for Stoke and Watford, but these days can be found playing five-a-side with convicts as part of a Christian outreach program in prisons. Dyer had been out of control as a player, as a career blighted by injury pushed him into a drink and drugs problem. Depressed and dumped by his girlfriend for cheating, Dyer got support from his brother, who had turned his life around after a stint in jail for drug dealing. These days, Dyer is happily married and runs meetings and curry nights with newly released offenders. 1. Wesley Schneider For a long time, Wesley Schneider was one of the most unpopular players in the Dutch squad. The midfielder once mocked a teammate for earning less than him and returned to the cancel estate where he grew up to show off his new cars. But Schneider's marriage to Yolanthe Kabe, a TV presenter and Catholic, saw the Dutchman turn over a new leaf. Then at Inter Milan, Schneider was baptised at the club chapel by Inter's club priest, and the most successful year of his career followed, as he led Inter to the treble and scored five goals at the World Cup as Netherlands reached the final. Religion has given me a new drive in life, Schneider said. Life feels a lot easier than it ever did before. No wonder, given that he prayed in his room before every fixture at the tournament, and ended up being named man of the match in four of the seven games the Dutchman played. So what did you think to our list? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other content by clicking on screen. And as ever, please do like and subscribe.